The Committee on Banking and Currency has inaugurated its members. The chairman of the committee, Honorable Mohamed Belo Erufa, in his inaugural address, appealed to the committee members to cooperate, as the primary objective of the committee is the country's financial situation. He expressed the need to look beyond party boundaries, come together as a family at this crucial time of the country. Honorable Mohamed assures himself and the deputy chairman's doors are open for ideas that will add value to the committee and the nation at large. Stating the committee's long, medium and short-term objective plans as oversight for agencies, which are Central Bank of Nigeria, Nigerian Export and Import Banks amongst others, track up. It took us this while to set up and inaugurate this committee. Um, in a few weeks, we intend to create a detailed plan, a strategy roadmap that will partner with the executive to improve the economic and financial situation in the country. We have oversight duties vested in us by the Constitution. And the Deputy Chairman and I want to assure you that we are a family as this committee is. Um, I would love to give a background about myself as, as Chairman. I'm a first timer here, so I'm one of the least experienced ones so I'll make many mistakes. Please feel free to correct me, even though I'm chairman, if you think I'm doing wrong. Because even if you're older than me, when you do wrong, I tend to correct people. So I hope you do the same for me so we can move together. As I said, the primary objective um, is, is, is the country. There is a financial situation that I think we need to put hands together and salvage, whether we are in PDP, APC, Labour, APGA, SDP, the vision is for a better Nigeria. And this committee is quite important. That's why many people have reached out to myself, um, my father, the deputy chairman, and we have stood down by saying we will wait for the leadership to bring your names, which is exactly what happened, to see how you could contribute. I do have some financial background, but not much. My background is in political science and diplomacy, as well as public relations. Fortunately, Mr. Uche, we have a clerk that was also the clerk of the previous banking committee. So he comes with a lot of experience that I intend to use. On my part, I served as the senior legislative aide and chief of staff to Senator Ubasani, who was the chairman of the banking committee in the Ninth Senate. So I do know the responsibility before me. I assure you that the Vice Chairman and I will not deceive you at any time. Our doors will be opened. There are opportunities and a lot we can achieve. There is nothing that I will do for my constituency that I will not do for yours. We have the same issues and if we all want to see us come back, because once you are here, we are family. This is what the speaker told me personally, and I intend to implement that to the best of my ability with the support of my vice chairman. Um, these documents will be provided to you by the clerk, detailing our short-term objectives, our medium-term objectives, and our long-term objectives. But to start, we are charged with oversighting four agencies. The Central Bank of Nigeria, which is why everybody wanted to join this committee, is one. The second is the Nigerian Export and Import Bank, Nexin. The third is the Nigerian Incentive-Based Risk Sharing System for Agricultural Lending, NERSA. For those of you in this committee that are in rural agencies, these are very important agencies for you to help your people. The fourth and this I will give credit to my able and experienced Vice Chairman, Honorable Salih Sukoku, is Biru the Change Operations. He insisted that to get our job done, this should be under the oversight of this committee. So I commend you for this, Mr. Vice Chairman. Thank you very much. Um, before I hand the floor over for any comments or adjustments, I want to assure you that this is not a committee where we need to meet all the time. But I learned one thing from my boss in the Senate when he chaired banking. 
that if you ensure that the interest of everybody is covered, whether they are here or not, then the committee will flow smoothly. I intend to do that. If you can make it to meetings, we have a WhatsApp group, the crowd is sufficient, please make it. But if you can't make it, I give you my word that to the best of my ability, we will work together. I've done some research on a lot of you, sorry, without you knowing, but I did that to know those of you that have some financial background. We will need it here. Please feel free to keep this among ourselves. The Vice Chairman and I will let you know if there's any issue or any thing that comes to us, I promise you that. Um, as I said, most of these documents will be laid out. I've already wasted your time, so I don't want to do that anymore. I think I'm going to pick. Am I talking too much? Okay. So on that note, I'll open the floor. If you have any quick suggestion or approach, if you served in the previous banking committee, for example, I would love to hear that. Um, before you do that, I'll give the floor to my able vice chairman to say a word or two. Thank you very much, sir. Honorable Amobi Oga of Abia State in his contribution calls in his contribution calls on the committee to sit up to solve the issues surrounding the dollar rise. Says it is a big issue in Nigeria as Nigerians are suffering. Track up. Committee and the chairman. We don't need to waste much time. I believe as we are inaugurating this committee we need to start immediately because Nigerians are suffering at this point. The issue of dollar is a very, very, very big issue. We know very well that this country is more of an important nation. And look at the rate dollar is going up. And if we don't sit up to do something as quickly as possible, what is the fate of our people? Please, Mr. Chairman, if it means for us to walk day and night, to see that Nigerians feel better than what they are feeling now, it will go a long way to prove a point that this committee is worthy to serve the people of Nigeria. Thank you and may God bless you. In line with the currency issue, another member of the committee listed increase in fill and currency issue as part of the EP important issue the committee should look into. Advise they hit the ground running immediately. Track up. Our colleagues again. Um, while also saying that um, the apologies tendered by your humble self is um, very much accepted by us because I was part of the people that were agitated earlier as regards your not um, being here. Like the Deputy Chairman um, appropriation is left now, said, it is not a mistake that you are a young man and you've been put in the China's, uh, in, the, in, the, in the elephant's um, room. It's a daunting task that we have. And I think the first thing, the only thing that is disturbing this country aside petroleum is the dollar and the currency issues that we have. Even the petroleum issue is still the currency. And it is a committee that is committee that we share. And um, in my local parlance, in the Yoruba parlance, they will say it is an individual, I'm trying to rephrase, an individual that has name that has something that is heavy to carry. I want to plead with you, Mr. Chairman, and your deputy, that the job that is before us is something that is very, very daunting. And I think it's time, aside our inaugural meeting, for you to have um, several other meetings to, for us to talk to the people in the CBN let Nigerians see us as doing something for them. Everybody here is speaking for a part of the country, and this country is crying, bleeding. Even those of us that are here, 
Yesterday, for the first time, Mr. Chairman, I went to the gas station with my driver. And I filled my vehicle, and the guy came back to me to say, Roger, the card, how much is it? Let me pay cash. He said, 57000 I said, what? He said, yes, that fuel is now 640 I said, but just last week it was 613 But as at yesterday, 640 Mr. Chairman, we have an issue on our hands. It is not by mistake that you are chairman, and my organ <coughs> and leader is your deputy. Please let us hit the ground running. Thank you very much. Still on the contribution, a member of a member of the committee said they have very crucial work at hand, calls for need to take critical look into banking sector. He says some commercial banks are killing businesses. Track up. Members of the committee assures the chairman their full support and cooperation to seeing the committee succeed in its mandate. Track up. Following a contribution of a member of the committee on Forex, the chairman of the committee, Honorable Mohammed, says the Forex issue is, par in the, is paramount to the committee. Referring to a motion raised in the House to summon the CBN governor, the chairman says the committee is already in communication with the CBN as one of its committees, as one of the committee's oversight duties, stating the committee is not which hunting anyone. The chairman also says there would be subcommittee assignments, assures all members would be carried along. He reiterated his availability to all members as they do their best as committee. I, wish I, had, um, I guess uh, we've already delayed long enough. I thank you all for your comments. Um, what I would like to say is the forex issue is paramount indeed. But I think we were all in the house when a motion, I don't know whether it was raised by Honorable Ikenga, but a motion was asked to summon the CBN governor. Um, I can't recall, I'm sorry Honorable, maybe I put you because you're the fiery one. But somebody brought an excellent motion on the issue about forex. You know, I have it on good authority, it could even get worse. So it's very important from the manufacturing sector to everything. But I think since the House already has a motion um, that has asked for the CBN governor to come, I believe it was directed by His Excellency the Speaker to three committees. If I did try to even take it from our committee, but it was brought back to the rightful committee, which is banking regulations. So, Clark, please find out where that is. We should write a letter, of course. It's our oversight duty. <coughs> Uh, and find out where the situation is. I know my SLA, because we have a relationship with people in CBN, we're already on it with one of the deputy governors, but they should hear back. It's not a witch hunt, it's just to explain what the situation is and come up with solutions, because it affects all of us, not just businessmen. Now, as for the Bofia Act, my boss passed that in I'm a Lawn Senate presidency. Part of the development plan that the deputy and I will release is really rooted in the both yard, the many opportunities, and I'm personally writing that myself. You know, I think um, without revealing much, the vision is for us to have subcommittee assignments. So I think everybody will be carried along as a vice chairman and advise me, and um, I'm available. We have a lot of work to do, I know. And we are going to do our job. You know, we will. We are partners with the federal government, but if things need to be sorted, if we need to perform our oversight functions, we absolutely will. I assure you of that. So thank you for the comments. Finally, I think um, I will ask the clerk to later set up an ad hoc committee under the leadership of the vice chairman, Honorable Salis Koko, to look at the second act that Honorable Mepala suggested, which is the foreign, so we'll know our limitations and powers into that. I think those of you that comment, commented like my uh, elder Honorable and, and you, sir, on FX, should be part of that committee, but Clark will. It's not a committee to go anywhere, it's just to give us a strategy and a roadmap on how to engage them. On my part, I'll keep using my own networks to informally tell them, look, let's have a sit down. 
If they don't do that, as I said, the House has already summoned uh, the CBN. Part of the reason I'm being patient is because they just got appointed. There's also that. You know, so it's not that I'm scared of a fight. Um, I'm here with a fight, son. <laughs> but uh, they just got appointed as deputy governors. One of them is actually a, a, a brilliant mind from Kaduna State. You know, so please let's keep our minds together, let's trust each other. And I thank you very much for all the words. There are many opportunities for us, whatever it is you can bring to me or chairman. We will not say what we will not do. It's not in us. Thank you very much. Comfort Olaika, DCTV News.